All right, good morning. So today we're gonna to be doing a couple different jobs. I have a client who I did a TV wall mount for. The TV broke, remounted a new television, and now she has power supply cable to that TV. And we're just running cable through the wall. <clears throat> After that, I will be installing a few grab bars and a shower for a client and also building a single step to their little patio uh, with tracks and handrail for them. Let's get to it. All right, so we're running this HDMI cable from this port to that port so that it's hidden in the wall. I'm using this electrical fish line to pull it through. Um, didn't really work. I stuffed it in here and it was getting caught in the insulation. So had to do something different. I ended up hooking the center of the cable, as you see there, um, and pulling it through. That way nothing was getting caught. There are no sharp edges. So you can see it's all cleaned up. Okay, I've got the first job done. It took a little longer than I anticipated. I had trouble with getting the cable through the insulation. That insulation had plastic on the front of it against the drywall, so my fish line kept getting caught and it was just a pain in the butt. Ended up getting it, as you could see. She was very happy. So we're now on to the next job to install the stairs, do the grab bars. So I will see you there. Okay, so this is pretty self-explanatory, finding the stud and marking it. I'm using the box that the grab bar came in with a little level to <laughs> find the spot on the wall where I want the grab bar to go. So I'm just gonna let this play out and I will be back in a minute. I was able to hit the stud on the top and the left side of the bar, but the right side, I wasn't able to hit the stud, so I just decided to use a wall anchor. Um, it's plenty strong with those two screws being into the stud, so there's no harm in using that wall anchor on the right side. The wall anchors that came with uh, the hardware were no good. They were breaking as I put it in, so I ended up using ones that I had on me. This wall here, um, since the studs run up and down, I wasn't able to locate a stud that made sense for the handrail, so I ended up using wall anchors for all of the holes. Okay, here's the deck. We're gonna be putting a little step right here with a little handrail. So the first thing I'm doing is measuring from the top of the deck to the top of each of these concrete footers. I wanna make sure that they're the same distance and that they're all level to each other. So I'm just digging this out here, get them all level, put in place. That's going to be the back of my box there, that 2x4. So I think it was about 5 inches um, from the top of that 2x4 to the top of the deck boards. So once those were leveled, they were all the same distance. 
just going to make for a level step. square make sure everything's squared up and then I'm checking the level um, outwards just so that everything's level shoving some of those rocks in there tamping it down so that it stays so here I'm measuring for my blocks uh, the step is four feet wide and I'm using Trex so Trex is pretty flexible so I wanted to make sure that my blocks in between were no more than 12 inches spaced. I think I went in around 9 inches in between each block, so I ended up using about 4 blocks just to add a little bit more stability so that you don't feel any bending when you're stepping down. I'm now cutting the post for the steps. Uh, I believe it was around 35 inches that way when I put the 2x6 on it it ends up coming out to about 36 and a half 37 which meets code my second post is gonna be attached to the outside beam so I marked where the post is gonna go it's gonna sit right down in this hole and then I'm gonna drive lag screws through the beam into the post and that's going to make it really solid. So once I got my posts secured, I put that block between them so that I had an even gap from the top to the bottom. I think it was about eight inches. And that's just gonna keep them level and plumb for when I'm attaching these two by two pieces. I could have gone in between the posts, so it'd probably look better. Um, but this was meant to kind of be a temporary thing and the client wasn't too concerned about how it looked. But looking back, I would have rather just put these in between than put them on the outside. They just would have looked much better. I'm measuring from the top of that post to the top of that two by two, finding the center. And then I'm gonna put my two by two center on that marking so that they're evenly spaced.
All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I would love to hear from you if you want to leave any comments, uh, questions, criticism, I'd love to hear it. So be sure to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. I plan to be posting about once or twice a week. So until then, I will see you later.